Hey guys, um, just a quick video here about um, upgrade. You can upgrade the PlayStation 4. This is the one terabyte edition. I'm going to go for um, two terabyte. As you can see there, I've just bought an expansion. Um, I've looked everywhere for just a brand new hard drive for these and um, they're pretty expensive, upwards of $170. I could get it from Japan or wherever from Asia. But still, still quite expensive. Still looking for around about maybe 120 upwards, and then I've got to wait probably two weeks to get it from Japan anyway. So that's a, not going to happen for me because I've got no room on this right now at all. Um, had to delete just to do an update on Battlefront. So I've, yeah, I've I've got to do something. Anyway, so this this one here was 117 dollars from uh, Office Works today, and um, yeah, just a couple of tools there that I'm going to need. Um, and we'll go from there. So next video, I'll show you what's in the hard drive. And, yep. Okay. This was everything that was in it. So of course we've got our hard drive. Um, I went for the Seagate because um, you know I've used them a few times now, especially on the on the PlayStation Three. Had a Seagate 750, and that's what's in the PlayStation Three, and never had a problem at all. Um, I've done my research, and um, part number on this shows that this is a um, 7,200 RPM. But from what I can find out, it's really not going to make a huge difference. Um, maybe a couple of seconds or whatever compared to the uh, 5400. So um, this is the best one I could find for the price. Um, as you can see here, I only needed um, this little one here just to prise it open to get get in there because it was you know it wasn't glued or anything, which was great. Um, as you can see here, it's just like you know. Um, you know they're just these little clips as such and it just popped off which is the excellent thing about this is once i take um the the hard drive out of that one i can put it back into here and then i can still use this as a um an expandable drive probably maybe for the xbox or something like that um so as soon as that one went in then i was able to pry it open um with this guy and these are the couple of bits and everything that came out of it so um obviously just a little bit of a shield or whatever and um yeah so there we go, all ready to go, brand new, and um, yeah, okay, next one I'll, I'll put it in there and we'll go from there. Okay, this is the next step, um, backup. As you can see here, applications are 778, which I'm not going to do, um, but mainly the the saved data, um, settings, stuff like that, which is what I'm going to back up. That's my most important thing. Um, yep, yeah, so next step. I'll back this, as I said, I'll back this up, and we'll go from there. Okay, now this is um, where the hard drive, the hard drive bay. Um, so this part here, this just um, simply, um, well, simply, yep. So this just comes off, and just here is a screw. It's pretty groovy, actually. This camera isn't that great, but it's actually got the PlayStation symbols on it. That just comes off, and then this comes out. Um, pretty straightforward. I think there's a couple of screws already on it. Um, just give me a second, see if I can get it out. Yep, so there we go. Yeah, so a couple of screws on the side. Um, yeah, straightforward. So I'll take those off, I'll put the new one in. And um, yeah, go from there. And then the next one, I'll be doing um, the setup. Okay, after holding the um, start button on the PlayStation for seven seconds, you'll get this, um, which is the safe mode. And as you can see, you can do a bunch of different things here. If you're, you know, the uh, PlayStation suddenly loses power or whatever. So here, um, we've downloaded the, the full software. So now we go to just initialize PlayStation 4. We click that and we say, yep, no problem at all. Um, give it a second. I'll put a link in the description as well of um, the where to find this um, software because um, it can actually be a bit hard to find, I found. When I did this back at Christmas when I upgraded from the 500 to the terabyte, it was extremely hard to find. Sony doesn't seem to want to give it out freely or find, you know, have it easy to find. I think it's around about 1.3 gigabyte, so you need to have at least a, a USB of two 
at least. Um, yeah. And you say, yep, so all will be deleted. Are you sure you wish to continue? Yes. Initializing. Yeah, I was a bit um, devoted that I couldn't uh, back up the whole, all of my games and stuff, which is going to be a bit of a bit of pain in the backside. I'm going to have to re-download a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. At least I was able to do the saves. Now, I've got PlayStation Plus, so I think it goes straight to the cloud anyway. There we go, 100% done. We'll see what happens now. Hopefully I haven't broken, broken the PlayStation 4. Blue light on. I've noticed this with the PlayStation 4, which is a little bit different to the PlayStation 3 or or whatever is that it'll do something on that that main screen and then it'll come back to this screen and, and redo it which is a pain in the ass because you, you actually think that it's already done what it needs to do anyway I'll leave it here uh, we know that it's going and um, next update I'll just show you the how much storage I do have which you know I've got two terabyte we'll go from there okay thanks okay it's finished so let's have a look Settings, uh, storage, I guess. All right, so there we go. So free space is 170, oh, sorry, 1.76 terabyte. So yeah, obviously it holds whatever, 200 odd gig. I am guess, I think that's for the DVR though, for the game DVR. I know it petitions a fair bit for that. Anyway, so that's done. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this video didn't go too far, too long for you guys, but yep, yeah, all good. I'll try and put as much links as I can in the in the description as well for the um for the software as well, the actual installation software, not the actual update. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Hey guys, just really really quickly, you will need to come here before you do anything at all. Like after it's started back up, you will need to come here, which is in settings, and then go to system, and then go to backup and restore. Um, these are for this is for the people that have actually re, um, backed up like what I did earlier. Um, we've backed up everything and then just just go to restore PS4, which is just there. Cool. Thanks. Just really quickly as well. Just remember once you're done to actually once you sign in and whatnot else to um, come here, activate your um, your console as your primary as well. And just restore licenses. I found I had a little bit of trouble in December when I did this from the 500 to the terabyte. Um, this just, again, just helps you to to just make everything uh, flow along smoothly and try to get this or do this immediately before you start downloading any of your games. Okay, cool. Thanks.